Plantar flexion is whenever you point your toesies away from yourself. You'll probably only notice if you're tight here if you're trying to really make a position look pretty or if you're trying to sit on your heels. Then suddenly you feel like your ankles are going to explode. Well, never fear, here is how you can become a plantar flexion toe pointing ninja. Best let Jenny sort this one out. So we're going to start off by warming up the ankles as you should before any intense stretching. You can do the seated or standing. We're going to rotate the ankle, making nice big circles, full range of motion as possible. So you're actually going through plantar flexion and through dorsiflexion, inversion, eversion, all of the good ankles. You do about 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. So you can do it like I'm doing and challenging your balance at the same time. You can sit on the floor, hold your leg, focusing on the range of motion. Once we've got a little bit of heat in the ankles, we'll start with a gentle plantar flexion. So we're just stretching the toes, focusing a little bit more on bending those toe knuckles, putting a little bit of weight into it, but not too much. We're just warming up. So just have a little wiggle, holding that for like 10, 20 seconds and then switch to the other side. And you could repeat that as often as you want, just to make sure you've got a little bit of warmth and a little bit of movement into the ankles. If you're ready, we can jump in to the next set. For our first stretch, you need to sit down on something, just like a chair, anything that you can hang your leg off. And you're gonna position your foot so you're in plantar flexion and gently place it on the ground. So we're not getting the toe stretch that we did in the warm-up. We're actually getting uh, extension of the ankle. And then have a wiggle. We're going to hold it for about 10 seconds, putting some weight into it, leaning into it, and just see where you feel the stretch the most. And if it's uncomfortable on the top of your foot, you can put a cushion or something nice and soft underneath. Once you've done your 10 seconds, shake it off, give yourself a couple of circles, and then we'll go into it again for our second set, and you can push a little bit harder this time, a bit more weight into it. We're thinking about really trying to straighten that line between the toes and the shin. Have a wiggle, anchor yourself on your chair, and then for your third set of 10 seconds, really, really go for it. Don't be nice to yourself, really push into your ankle, and if you can hold it for more than 10 seconds, you're not pushing hard enough. We really wanna make a change to these little joints that get quite stiff because of the amount of movement that they get every day. When you've done one side, switch to the other, see if there's any differences, and again, be nice and horrible to yourself. Sticking with your chair, or you can move to a sofa or bed or anything that's about this height, we're gonna do assisted single leg kneeling. So you've got your foot is in plantar flexion again, but this time we've got our shin nice and supported. You can have your hands on your hips, or if you've got something around, you can hold on to it for support. And we're gonna slowly lower down. And then you can come back up again and just do some reps. You can go as deep as you feel you can. That might be stopping here. You will feel like tension and pressure building in your ankle as you go, but that will get better over time and eventually you can just start sitting on that heel, having a little bit of a pause here, have a little bit of a wiggle, and then you can come back up. And you can do reps, or you can hold it for as long as it's comfortable, up to about 30 seconds. Obviously do both sides, and you may find that one side is slightly looser, and you can spend more time on the tighter side. One thing that you want to be careful of is rolling your ankle out. So you think you're stretching into plantar flexion, but really you're just cheating with rotation. So make sure that ankle is nice and straight and we're really getting that stretch up the front and a little bit in the back. Once you feel comfortable with the single leg assisted on your height, you can start coming to the floor. We want both feet now in plantar flexion just as much as you can. And we're gonna use our hands and slowly bring ourselves down to a kneeling position. So you may stop here, you know, your feet are in plantar, but you're not putting the weight in yet. And as you get more comfortable, you can lower yourself back and you're using 
the extra weight of you to push yourself deeper into that stretch. Again, watch out for the ankles rolling. You want your feet to be straight. You can have a little look back and check that you're doing it. And just have a little wiggle, sway around, keeping as much weight in your hands as you need at first. You want to build up to three sets of 20 seconds. So try not to push so hard and just be shaking and shaking and shaking that you can only hold it for the five seconds. Find a level that you can spend some time relax the breathing and get a nice stretch in the ankle and that this is a longer term goal. You don't have to get yourself to maximum plantar flexion in one session. So, yep, if you need to start off five seconds, start there, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and then we'll move on to the single leg variations. So once you're comfortable on the two legs, all you're gonna do is straighten one leg out. So now our full body weight is on a single leg. Again, hands for support as much as you need. It allows us to sink a little bit deeper and focus more on one side. Sometimes when you're doing both legs together, one can be taking more weight and you don't realize it. So this really allows us to sink into that one side, have a wiggle, keep the stretch going, if you're not, if you try and go into this and it's way too intense, just pull it back, bring yourself forwards and maybe just stick with the assisted version for now. But this is a really nice one to get that extra depth on one side, switch sides, leaning into it, getting that much more intense stretch on one side. And we hold this for about 10, 20 seconds per side having a wiggle, using as little assistance with the hands as possible. If you really want to make a change to your plantar flexion, don't just stick with static stretching. Once you're comfortable there, we can take it a step further. So we're in our double leg position, we've got our ankles nice and straight, lots of weight in the feet, and then we can start marching. And we do that by lifting up one knee at a time. You can have your hands on the floor for assistance, and we're basically taking the stretch into like an overstretch. We're going even deeper, and you will feel this in your ankles. You can lean back more to allow yourself a little bit more range of motion, or you can come a little bit closer, which challenges the more active positions. Again, have a wiggle, find where it is meaner for you, where you feel the stretch a little bit more, we're just going to march just for about 10, 15 seconds, see how many marches you can fit in. You can go nice and slow with a little pause and hold at the top of each one, or you can just do nice quick reps to get some movement and some heat. So you can really make a big change to your ankles with these stretches. And once you're done, finish up with the ankle circles that we did in the warm up just to prevent stiffness and get them back moving again in all of the lovely directions your ankles can move. Finally, if you're ever doing intense stretching on your ankles and trying to improve the range of motion, make sure that you add some single leg stability work in so that you keep the strength there as you improve the range. Aim to work on these movements as a circuit two to four times a week until you find that your plantar flexion improves and you find that kneeling position way more comfortable. Sometimes whenever you're working with smaller joints, as they improve, they can start to get a little bit grumpy. Keep on doing what you're doing and ease off as you need to, but keep up with the circular style movements and wiggling.